Now we learn in school that uh, the more we study nature, the less important we become. And it all started with Copernicus in the 16th century when he said that it was not the Earth that was the center of the universe, but it was the Sun. So, you know, before Copernicus, we were the center of everything, the center of creation. God had put us there, made us his image. We were the best thing around. There comes the Polish canon and says, nope, you know, the sun is the center. The earth is just a planet like the other planets. So we've been moved away. And then after that, the more we learn about the universe, the less important we seem to have become. So, for example, uh, the solar system, which at least was the universe, right, up to that time, it was not the universe anymore. It was just one solar system. The sun is just one star amongst billions of other stars. So by the turn of the 20th century, we had a galaxy, which was the Milky Way, which had billions of other stars. And then something interesting happened to make us even more insignificant, which was in 1929 when Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe is expanding. And he had discovered five years before that the Milky Way, our home galaxy, was just one among many other galaxies. So there we have it. Even our galaxy is not that important. And the universe is expanding, which means, in a sense, they're becoming smaller and smaller. And to add to the insult, the more we learn about the composition of the universe, what is the universe made of, right? The atoms and then the electrons, the protons, we realize that there are different kinds of matter in the universe as well. So if we fast forward to like the 1980s, we became very much insignificant because the matter that we are made of, the atoms that we're made of, are just 4% of the total stuff of the universe. So we are not the center. The solar system is not the center. Our galaxy is not the center. The universe is expanding. And we are made of a very small component of the stuff that fills up the universe. Hence the angst about, you know, you learn science, and science is teaching us how insignificant we are. Very bad. Now, the thing, though, is that all this is changing because we're also learning about life in the universe. And what we have learned about life in the universe is that, yes, Earth may be a very interesting planet. There may be other planets like Earth out there. And we are right now looking for those Earth-like planets. But what we have learned is that in order for life to develop in a planet, all sorts of important things must happen. And not just life like mi microbes or amoeba life, but intelligent life or complex multicellular life, it's even harder. So what we are learning is something quite remarkable, is that yes, there may be life elsewhere. There may be even some kind of intelligent life in our galaxy and in other galaxies, but we are very, very rare. So humans who are, who are very sophisticated conglomerates of material stuff, they are able to think about who they are and ask questions about the universe are very rare indeed. In fact, we are unique. There is not going to be another human species in the whole universe because the history of life on a planet depends on the history of that planet. And every history is different. So amazingly, the more we learn about the universe, the more important we are becoming again. And in a metaphorical way, we are back to being the center of the universe because we are the things that can think about it. So we are the mind of the cosmos.